B is from Tobin in the Northwest region of Cameroon. Her grandpa Mba is sick in hospital and she has come to help look after him. B tells the nurse that she'd like to help her grandpa, but she's not sure what she should be doing and needs advice. She is worried for her baby. The nurse explains that infection spread very easily in the hospital and that her grandpa is at greater risk because he is sick and cannot fight off infection so well. She advises B to do everything possible to protect him and other patients from infection. She also needs to protect herself, her baby and others too, as patients with infectious diseases may also transmit germs to healthy people. The nurse explains to B how infections are spread. Infections are caused by tiny invisible germs like bacteria and viruses which can be spread from one person to another or from the environment to a person. A person with a germ may spread infection by touching another person or surface with contaminated hands by coughing and sneezing <coughs> through stools and body fluids like blood and urine and by contaminated food or water. Infections can also be spread through contaminated needles or other sharp objects. She says that to stop these infections being spread, we must always wash our hands before or after touching the patient or bedside area. Every time we go to the toilet or when we help someone go to the toilet or use a bedpan, and before and after preparing food, feeding the patient and giving medication. The nurse explains it is important to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water or hand sanitizer. Grandpa is hungry. So B is going to make him some lunch. She washes her hands before preparing the food. The nurse tells B to make sure she cleans surfaces and the utensils she uses with soap and water. She also reminds B to wash her hands again before feeding Grandpa. Now B is going to breastfeed her baby. She makes sure she washes her hands first, as advised by the nurse. Grandpa needs to use the bedpan. So the nurse instructs B to wash her hands and put on gloves while cleaning Grandpa. And when she has finished, to dispose of the waste properly. Then remove the gloves and wash her hands again. The nurse explains how these actions will improve the care that B gives to her grandpa and help him avoid catching an infection and help protect herself, her baby, and others from catching an infection. B follows all the advice she has been given and after finishing his treatment, her grandpa is well enough to return home. As the nurse waves goodbye, she advises B to share what she has learned with her family and other people. This could help prevent many infections at home as well as in the hospital. 